Xiaomi Mi Band 6 has set up a wearing craze in our office. Almost all of us had one at that time, but Mi hadn't had one, though it has rich features and it's fairly cheap. But in my opinion, its low fresh rate screen feels not smooth. So when I heard of a Mi Band 7 would be much smoother, I bought one immediately. I used to think the unchanged design is a safer choice, but it turns out that not so safe. The band would untie occasionally. As for the screen, compared to Mi Band 6, their screen is significantly bigger. Bigger buttons, bigger icons, and a bigger border. New watch faces with a bigger screen, that brings better looking, but a bigger body than the previous model too. Places which not fit with the wrist is even wider. However, no matter how you wear the band, it always issues an exclusive seal for my wrist. But unlike other wearable devices, it doesn't make me feel itchy, and it doesn't smell bad either. Which proves the antibacterial band is really something. At the beginning, I thought that a device for less than $70 still has many different functions is really brilliant, until was tested to have a blood oxygen level of 80. I can literally feel myself approaching the heaven. Then I carefully retested it again. It went up this time, as well as my heart rate. Does it mean it has accurate heart rate measurement? Hey, what? My heart rate is totally fine. Instead, this alone scared me and made my heart beat. Initially, I thought the test is just for fun. Never did I think they could scare me to death. Compared to the measurement features, the NFC feature seems to be more stable. Though, some of these encoded IC cards cannot be added, but it still can be used to take subway. Wait, it does not support transportation card of my city? What confuses me is that it is available on Xiaomi firms, but not on Xiaomi Mi Band. When you are passing through the turnstile, the NFC would probably fail after every 5 or 6 times. The solution to it is to slow yourself down when using it. There's one time when I was trying to enter with the sports mode on. It showed that I was exiting the gate, though I clearly remember it was operating normal last time. It's likely the most people pay for the band for its sports features. Like all the previous generations, Mi Band 7 doesn't have GPS. Cell phones need it if you want to record your running tracks. However, nowadays cell phones seem to be too heavy for running. Instead, the stop counting feature is more useful. Cell phones might not be with me, but the band is always on me. Some sporadic walk steps can be recorded as well. And it turned out just by waving the hand, that the movement also can be recognized as walking. So it seems that band doesn't have a more advanced way to detect the movements. There is a no problem. Not only one app can be used for Mi Bands, Zip Life or Xiaomi Health can both be paired with it, but you can only choose to use one of them. The same watch face can be a little different between two apps. The Zip Life can play dinosaur game, but the Xiaomi Health cannot. And Zip Life is adding more multifunctional dials, which are now included in Xiaomi Health. Goodbye or goodbye. Within a month of usage, it had restarted twice, but it's not occurring frequently, so it is acceptable. For $69, I can get notification, offline payment, and an NFC transportation card. Moreover, seeing it as a water-resistant electric watch, which can also change dials, is rather a good choice. With always-on display enable 30% brightness and do not disturb enable through 10 p.m. to 7 a.m., its battery lasts three days. Disable always-on display, the battery lasts seven days. The battery life doesn't seem to be a big problem for me, 
since I was awake by the heart rate alone and found out that sleep monitoring is not so accurate and the band would always scratch the bed when sleeping. Under these multiple factors, I picked up the habit to take off the band before sleep. Since it's taken off, I'll put it on charge. When updated to new system revision, it seems to be a little smoother, just a little. Still not close to actual smooth. It reminds me that many Mi Home products get their most affluency and stabilities in the middle back part of their lifespan. I see and use it as an electric watch with a notification feature. If you want to try a wearable smart device for the first time, don't expect a lot from a $69 product. And if you really want to use it to monitor your workouts, heart rate, blood oxygen level, and even let it be your personal virtual assistant, I suggest you to think twice. Xiaomi Mi Band 7 NFC version testway gives 6.13 as the subjective overall score. Testway, bunny try before you buy.